You want standalone hydraulics for your side-by-side -side or your tractor? You gotta watch this. Every side-by-side -side needs this feature. Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. My name's Lucas. We're sharing our hobbies on 38 acres in Eastern Kentucky. And today I'm sharing an upgrade I did to this dump trailer because a lot of you chimed in with suggestions and I wasn't able to put all those suggestions on it yet, but I did come up with one solution that I think is going to help a lot of people. Having a little off-road hydraulic dump trailer like this is so handy for a homestead, but like lots of you mentioned, not everybody has multiple pieces of equipment where they can run the dump trailer behind one tractor and load it with another tractor or a mini skid steer. So you need a solution where you can pull this behind a side-by-side, -side, let's say, and still use the dump feature. And this particular trailer has hydraulic remotes that would hook into the rear remotes of a tractor, which is nice, but not everybody even has rear remotes on the back of their tractor. So I came up with a solution where you can use this dump trailer on your side-by-side -side and still have hydraulics to dump the bed. And it's slick. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is the main component for this upgrade was actually provided to me by Vivor. And you can pick these up at lots of different places, but Vivor has probably the best price on one of these standalone hydraulic pumps that makes it easy for you to set up a remote hydraulic system for your tractor or your side-by-side -side or whatever you're going to be using this with. You could even use this same setup if you had a hydraulic dump trailer for a truck that doesn't have its own powered hydraulics or if you need to replace a motor. So this Vivor hydraulic pump is basically even the same hydraulic pump that I have on my car lift down in my garage. So it's a pretty diverse piece of equipment that would be handy for a lot of applications, but relevant to what we're doing here, we need hydraulics on this dump trailer so that we can pull it behind our side-by-sides and still dump it. And that's what I wanted to build today. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I'm going to cut to some footage of me assembling this whole setup in the garage because I didn't do a lot of talking while I was taking those videos and doing the fabricating. And I'll go ahead and warn you, I am a hack when it comes to chopping and sticking pieces of metal together. So don't judge the work, judge the end product and how useful it is. And if you're a good welder, then do better than I did. That's fine. <laughs> so I took my porta bandsaw that's on a swag off-road vice mount. And I used it to cut pieces of angle iron into a tray that I could mount this hydraulic pump and a battery. Now I just happen to have an extra deep cycle battery around that is good. And so I decided that would be good for this project and that's what we purposed it to. So I welded together these pieces of metal on that tray and I built some uprights so that we could bolt the hydraulic pump solid to the whole setup. That way it doesn't get jarred around or broken or somehow if it's laying loose. I wanted to build an all-in-one unit that I can just pick up and set in the bed of my side-by-side -side, and when I'm done, I can pick it out and set it aside. Now I will tell you, it ends up being a pretty heavy piece. If you use a big deep cycle battery, those are not light and neither is this pump. So the whole setup probably weighs 75 to 100 pounds, but it's manageable and it works great for this.
I'm gonna bring you over here and I'm going to show you what I built and how I've got everything hooked up. And then we're going to do a test. And even though you shouldn't pull over about a thousand pounds with a side by side, you need to keep in mind your braking system because if you're gonna add that extra weight behind you, like I'm not going to be pulling a thousand pounds down my steep driveway over here because I don't want it to push me over the hill. You gotta think about those things if you're gonna use this dump trailer, but a lot of people are gonna use it for moving wood chips and lightweight materials, so it would work great for that. Just understand the limitations. But I am going to overload this setup, as I always do, so that I can show whether or not this Vivor hydraulic pump can dump the 4,000 pounds that this trailer is rated for. We're gonna use a little bombalite, we're gonna fill it up with gravel, and we will dump it out and see how it performs. So stay tuned to the end so you can see how that works. Okay guys, let's show you what we've got here. We'll pull this up out here where we can get a good look at it. So this is the Vivor remote hydraulic pump and everything about it seems of, of perfectly good quality for what we're doing here. And like I said, it looks like an identical match to the pump that's on my car lift down in the garage. So I think this is gonna work great. It comes with a couple of fittings that will give you different sizes to hook onto for your hydraulics. I happen to have some extra hydraulic hoses that had 3 8 inch female JIC fittings. And that's one of the options they gave you to hook to. And I will say, we needed the extra length of hose to connect these hydraulic hoses to the trailer and still be able to set this in the bed of the side-by-side -side and drive around and maneuver and not pull the hoses tight. So this setup worked out great. I, I was able to buy a couple of fittings at Rural King to turn the, the female JIC into male JIC into 3 8 pipe thread into half inch pipe thread so that I could use some hydraulic fittings I already had. And the fittings, because I had the hydraulic, uh, because I had the hydraulic connection already, I already had the hoses, the fittings only cost me about 15 bucks to make all of this work. So that's that part of the setup. Now, of course, this is just basic and very rough, uh, angle iron framing that I put together, drilled some holes in, and you have mounting holes on your hydraulic pump here that you're able to bolt this down so that it's solid fit in here. And I still have access to my hydraulic fill here. I do not have access to my hydraulic drain plug. And I'll also tell you, don't do what I did and have the drain plug and the dipstick mixed up when you put this together because you can use this pump either standing up like this or laying down on its back. And if you use it laying down on its back, then you put the dipstick in what is the bottom of our setup and you put the, uh, the other plug up here in the top. Well, I had them reversed somehow. I don't know if I put them in backwards or if they came that way, but either way, I put this together and the dipstick has a vent tube. So I start filling this thing up and poured hydraulic fluid all over my garage floor, made a great big old mess. And I was like, man, how stupid can you be? I had the battery bolted in so I couldn't get to it to fix it without taking the battery out and swapping those plugs. So keep that in mind when you assemble this. Now, I built the battery tray to fit this battery and I picked up this battery tie down with the J hooks off of Amazon. And it came in anodized red. I thought it made the whole setup look pretty slick. Of course, you know, interstate battery, so I went with my favorite color of Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead Green on my tray, and there you have it. I also picked up these cables. I didn't have any battery cables, so I picked these up off of Amazon, and they're just an easy fit. Of course, it's obvious where you connect these wires to, and you're powered. Now, let me show you the remote system. Now, if this is something you were going to be using a lot, you could actually mount this tray for your hydraulic controls right here. And it's set up to where you can just slide it down in there and you have them mounted on the side of your dump trailer or wherever you want them. I won't be using this all the time. So I'm just gonna keep it loose and I can throw it in the cup holder here when I'm driving around. But when it's time to dump, from right here in the driver's seat, I can dump and drive forward and control the flow of material that's dumping out. And when I'm done, I lower it back down and we're good to go. This is awesome.
Now the last tip for this setup that I'm going to give you is don't go with too small of a hydraulic fluid reservoir because if you do, you won't have enough fluid capacity to fill this big cylinder all the way up and dump the bed completely, uh, completely at max lift. I didn't fill this all the way up hi with hydraulic fluid because I really didn't expect that I would need it all, but it started aerating because by the time it got close to the top, it couldn't reach the rest of the fluid that was in there and finish dumping it. So I had to fill it all the way up to the very top edge of this. So I've got, yeah, max fill level is where I have to be in order to dump this trailer completely. So keep that in mind when you order one and make sure that you have enough fluid capacity to work the dump trailer effectively. Now one of the other quick fixes that I did for this is make it to where I can get these bottom pins of the tailgate out easy by just grabbing some of these hair clips and then I can pull these pins out and dump from the bottom. The one thing I did not have time to do yet is put me a set of adjustment chains on the bottom of this tailgate so that I can control the flow of how much material comes out. And what that's going to involve is grinding off the paint and welding me a little loop right here and a hook that I can hang a chain on. That way I can adjust how much this tailgate will dump out at a time. And I plan to do that. Just haven't had time to get around to it yet, but I thought I would show that. Now, let's grab the Bombalite. Let's fill this thing up with gravel. We'll put a good load on it. All I really need to do actually is spread this gravel on this section of driveway right here. This is gravel that was left over. So if you're a regular watcher of the channel, but you don't always watch my commercials, well, Today, you're in for a treat because you're going to get a sneak peek of some things that are done on the house that I haven't shown yet. We got a septic system put in. And that's where the rest of this gravel came from was it was left over. And uh, he, he knew that I would need more gravel for my driveway, so he just brought two full dump truck loads. That way I could use the rest to finish spreading out all my gravel. So we got a septic system. And we also have decking on the porch. And the porch is finished. Shh, don't tell anybody. But let's fill this thing up, spread some of this gravel, and we'll just see how much this hydraulic pump can handle. So we put six 42 inch bucket loads of gravel in this trailer. And by rough calculations, that should be 4,200 pounds. Now one, I don't even know that this side by side will move it. It most definitely is not recommended. And so if I tear up my machine, that's on me. And you should not do this. But all I'm doing is flat ground, moving this trailer, so that I can test the hydraulics on the dump bed and all of that. So I'm just kind of out here goofing around and I'm not gonna do anything crazy with it. All right, we got her in low gear, brakes off. Let's uh, see where we go here. Oh man, shoot. Look at that Kubota power, man. All right. 
so we see that we can easily move it. And I can stop it on flat ground just fine. I'm gonna back up here to kind of my spot where it's a little thin. And uh, I'm gonna set you guys up out here where you got a better view. All right, let's see what happens, huh? This is not going to be pretty because I don't have a chain on my tailgate, but we're gonna dump it. Got a great big old pile right in the middle of the driveway but hey the dump function works the vivor hydraulic pump did fantastic this is pretty cool well i think that's all i needed to know man if i can dump a completely full load of gravel then you know load of wood chips or manure or anything else it's gonna be a piece of cake so if you want to pick up a MechMax dump trailer, visit MechMax.com. Use discount code LUCAS, 5% off to save yourself 5%. Earn me a little bit of commission, and I really appreciate that. If you want to pick up a Vivor hydraulic pump so you can build your own standalone rear remotes for your side-by-side, -side, tractor, or anything else you might need, I'll put a link down in the description as well as a discount code where you can save yourself some money on ordering this pump. Thank you to Vivor and MacMax for working with us and letting us have these kind of toys to play with. I'm having a blast. Guys, Till next time, get outside and enjoy God's creation because it's beautiful out here. Y'all have a good day.